freezer has been defrosted. This is my handy dandy chest freezer. Totally empty. Time to start filling it up. So a couple times a year, when my life gets really hectic, I start feeling overwhelmed. And when that happens, what I like to do is figure out what can I take control of? And a lot of times for me, the big thing is meal planning. Now that might sound kind of silly, but if I meal plan and I food prep, it means that my entire day goes so much easier. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be making 44 <laughs> crock pot freezer meals. Now, we're not we don't have one of these every single night, but it's a good option two or three nights a week. Um, and if I do it now, uh, this the I think these 44 will last us probably two to three months. And it'll just make my weeknights a heck of a lot easier. I've been doing this for a long time, so I do have a system in place. Um, I've collected recipes from all over the place, mostly on the internet, sometimes even from like old school cookbooks. But I've got uh, a whole bunch of recipes that I have. I put them into a spreadsheet and I divide it all out. So I put each meal, I guess, on the left hand side and then I start breaking it out by ingredient. So I know um, how much meat I need for each recipe, how many spices, how many vegetables, uh, how many you know miscellaneous things like soy sauce or sesame oil or lime juice, those kind of things that um, I need as well. Uh, so once I do that, um, I work through each ingredient systematically. That works better for me. So some people like to do one recipe at a time. You know, you'll do your barbecue chicken first and then you'll do your chili lime pork. For me, uh, what I really like to do is I like to chop up all the onions at once and put them into uh, individual Ziploc bags. Um, and I do that for every single ingredient and I will show you my process. So making these massive amounts of food is a multi-day process for me. I usually like to buy my meat at Costco. Uh, most of the other staples I get from Aldi because they're cheap and then anything else that I can't find there, I get at just the regular grocery store. So in the past few days, I stopped at Aldi, I stopped at Costco, and then today I picked up the last few things I couldn't find anywhere else. And now um, I'm ready to lay out all my Ziploc bags and get to work. Yesterday, I sat down. I wrote out 44 bags with numbers and the name of what it is. So for example, number two, 22 is Lemon Awesome Chicken. And it also has the date that I'm putting it together. Um, and you will notice that there are two bags for each. So I'm uh, basically, I've got 22 recipes. I'm going to double it, which is where I get my 44 from. Now 44 is not some special number. It just happened to be the uh, the number of recipes <laughs> that we have tried and liked and decided that we wanted to make again. Um, so sometimes I'll try something and it'll be great and uh, we want to make a ton more of it. Sometimes I'll make a new one and it will completely bomb. Nobody wants it. So I definitely take those off the list. 22 is not a special number. It's just where we happen to end up this time around. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what I usually do is lay out all of my Ziploc bags on my kitchen table right here um, and I use the counters for prep and uh, then I bring things over and fill in the, the bags as I go along. Uh, this time around what I think I'm going to do because I also have a toddler who is running around, I'm going to see if I can do this with him running around. 
Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put the Ziploc bags a little bit closer to the center of the table so that he can't reach them to pull them down. And I'm also going to utilize some of my counter space, which I don't usually do. This will be the first time trying that. Uh, and we'll try that and see if that helps to keep all of these bags out of little hands. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair up because even when I put my hair up, it seems like I always end up with hair in our food and nobody wants that. That's just gross. So I'm going to start with putting my hair up and washing my hands and laying my bags out. And then from there, we will start pulling out some spices and some veggies and uh, putting everything into the bags. You know, one thing I am going to tell you before I start, if you are planning to do anything like this, First of all, stop being loud over there. <laughs> I have kids running through here. Uh, so the one thing I am gonna say about this, and I made this mistake the very first time I tried to do this, is make sure that you start with the spices and the things that don't need to be refrigerated. <laughs> It is a process that takes several hours. So if you start by putting the meat in your bags, you're gonna have meat sitting around for a few hours before it finally gets refrigerated and nobody wants that. <laughs> so start with the non-refrigerated items first and then work your way into the items that could possibly cause food poisoning. halfway done. I have finished the spices. I have finished um, all the liquids and miscellaneous things. Oh, hey, that's not very helpful. And um, as should surprise no one, I am missing a few things. In any case, I'm going to move on to the vegetables and then the meat. And hopefully while I'm doing that, somebody else will run to the store for me <laughs> and get the things I need. We'll see. And while I am food prepping for the crock pot meals, Noelle found a recipe for, she's going to make, what is it? I'm sorry, what? Bibimbap? I'm sorry, what? Did I say it wrong? I'm sorry, what? Wow. Is that correct? Bibimbap? Yeah. Bibimbap. Yeah. So I guess we'll uh, food prep and make Korean food at the same time, which is a good thing, because honestly, I have nothing prepped for dinner at all. I'm thinking it's going to be a easy dinner again tonight. <laughs> to being done. I have all my spices. I have all my liquids. I have all my veggies. I have a whiny toddler. <laughs> Hi. It's been a long day. This is a lot of work. More work than it looks like. I started, gosh, about six hours ago. Mm -hmm. We're, we started in the afternoon. We're well into the evening. Um, Kids have been taken here and there, and we've picked up some supplies here and there, and the baby is finally in bed. 
Yes, I just nursed him to sleep, so he's good there. Uh, so my next step here is going to be to clean up the mess that has happened in the living room and the kitchen, um, and then uh, move on to uh, putting the meat into each of the bags and then getting the bags into the freezer. I have a chest freezer uh, in the basement and that's where all of these meals will live until it's time to eat them. Um, I have a really great system that I will show you in a little while, but uh, what I do is uh, I just kind of stumbled on this accidentally. I have never seen anybody else do it before, but I use um, not the full trays, but the half um, pan aluminum um, trays that you can get from Costco and uh, I use those to set the meals in and then set them in the freezer that way they're really easy to get out they don't necessarily stick together um, usually I'll put two meals into each pan and sometimes those two meals will get stuck together uh, but it's a great way to do it not only does it keep everything organized inside the freezer but also when it's time to uh, defrost the meals to take them out I can take that entire tray out from the freezer slide it right into the fridge behind me here and then in the event that one of the Ziploc bags has failed, because, um, you know, it happens. Maybe it got a tear. Maybe I just didn't get it closed all the way. There is a ton of user error that can happen with this as well. Um, in case um, one of them leaks, then all of that liquid is contained within, um, within that tray, and it doesn't spill <laughs> doesn't spill all over the refrigerator so uh, that actually works out really well okay so um, I have a whole bunch of cleaning to do in the kitchen here make sure that we've got clean surfaces again um, we've run the dishwasher we've got I've taken out the recycling twice because I had so many um, bottles and cans you know cans of tomatoes and bottles of soy sauce and oil and all that fun kind of stuff and like a million spice containers <laughs> have gone into the recycling. I use a lot of spices when I do this. Um, so those have all been taken out to the recycling. I just need to uh, get everything cleaned up and then I can move on and uh, put the meat into the bags. So we're getting really close to being done. <sighs> yeah. It is 10 30 p.m. I started early this afternoon. I am a complete mess at this point in time. My clothes are dirty and all stretched out. My hair is every which way, but my kitchen is mostly clean. Uh, I'll have, I have a few more things I need to uh, put into the dishwasher once the dishwasher, the first load finishes. Uh, but then I'm also going to show you what I did with all of my completed meals. So uh, two or four at a time, I took them downstairs to my basement. Uh, we have a chest freezer in our furnace room. 
Now I did run out of room, so I ended up having to take the basket out of the freezer, and the freezer was um, completely empty. I had uh, some chicken in there that I ended up using in some of my meals. Um, it was completely empty, and now it's pretty much full. So let me show you what we've got. So it's just pretty much your standard chest freezer. It was empty and now, let's see if we can get my shadow out of there. Now it is pretty much full. I did run out of those uh, silver foil trays. So the top meals are just kind of stacked in on themselves. Uh, this is what 42 meals in a chest freezer looks like. It's a long day, but two months from now, when I don't have to make dinner and it is already made, this will be 100% worth it. Are you going to help me, by the way? That? Meal prep? Um, about that. Are you sure you don't want to help? It'll be lots of fun. I got some studying to do, actually. I got 63 wrong on my Mandarin homework. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, don't worry.